कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे रॉक ने फैंस का जनासा निकाल दिया सो अपेरली देर इज अट जस्ट गॉड लीक इन दी टी एस सिक्स ट्रेलर दो ये Just like how there was a guy that ended up leaking the Lucia Bruna all the way back in 2022, right? He's still chained up. He's still locked up. They ended up getting the FBI involved. They ended up getting the aliens involved. They put like 20 star warning level on his ass. Apparently, there's another guy that just got caught leaking the trailer. The story is wilder than Johnny Sins movies, and we're also hearing the game is running at 30 FPS. Yeah, like the video if you want the game at 60 FPS, man. I want to know where you guys at. We got a bunch of leaks going around. We got to talk about it. Let's actually get into it. Roll it. Another week, another GTA 6 leak. This time, an ex-user by the name of MVBR dropped a thread on his profile sharing a bunch of juicy details supposedly from the console version of the upcoming game. But before okay. we get into it, as always, take it with a grain of salt. There's no concrete proof he's entirely right, and Rockstar can always switch things up before the game's official release next year. So yeah. what's in This yeah. leak. He first mentions Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which promises yeah. to boost frame rates and deliver high quality. And the only reason he mentioned that is because we're hearing the game is gonna be 30 FPS, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the hell is going on? We're in the year 2024, man. Can a brother? What a brown man gotta do, man? Tell me one thing a brown man gotta do. Can a brown man perhaps get 60 FPS? Like the video if you agree. high resolution gaming experiences without the need for a super powerful GPU. Global illumination is also on the list, offering more realistic lighting that changes dynamically based on the environment and time of day. And HDR will ensure stunning contrasts and colors, making the game's visuals even more vibrant and lifelike. Additionally, MVBR talks about DLSS, a tech that uses AI to upscale lower resolution images in real time, providing better yeah. performance and visuals. And then there's ambient Yo, honestly like instead of like if they if these things cannot do 60 fps i would rather take like 45 fps i know the stand yeah the standard is kind of low but like i i would say like 45 fps better than 30 for sure i mean 60 is always better if you could 30 fps or 60 fps i want to know where everybody's at i know some people don't mind 30 fps right but but generally speaking like even even for the people that don't mind 30 fps if they were given the option between 30 and 60 they they would prefer 60 fps because 60 fps just ultimate uh, ultimate looks better but but i want to know where you guys are though do you occlusion, care you know which will enhance the depth and realism of shadows making every nook and cranny look more natural shadow rasterization another method for rendering shadows aims to improve performance while maintaining quality and the well known ray tracing is expected to bring life like reflections shadows ray and poison. lighting immersing players in the game world like never before screen space reflections will make reflective surfaces such as water and glass appear more realistic and lastly the inclusion of a denoiser helps in reducing noise in real time rendering significantly Shoo! boosting overall visual Shoo! fidelity and while it all sounds like a lot of effects mvbr claims that rockstar already has a method to improve performance there will okay. be times when ray tracing won't work optimally due to optimization issues and in those moments the game will rely on the help of screen space technologies such as screen space reflections and denoiser it doesn't mean that the game is currently running in 8k resolution at 60 fps uh -oh. unfortunately uh -oh. No. According to his info, the game is currently running at 2K resolution with ray tracing enabled, but it's capped at 30 FPS. It also Man. Man. You you know what? I I would rather take like 1080 60 FPS than 2K 60. So these things cannot even run the game at 4K 30. Now, I know this is Rockstar we're talking about, so I'm assuming the the reason it's not able to run at 4K is probably because the game is humongous. I I I bet it's probably due to that Lucia Bruna being ginormous, bro. Like that Bruna is ginormous, ginormous. Okay, that Bruna is ginormous, and it's probably because of that because it's gonna be taking a lot of space in the in the RAM. Uh, it's gonna be taking a lot of uh, space in the SSD. It's gonna be gigabytes worth of Bruna, right? So probably due to that. Now I don't want them to nerf it or anything like that. But like, damn, can a brother like, uh, yo, 1080? Okay, if you could, if you could, 1080p. 60 fps or 2k 30 fps ray tracing included in both option by the way so 1080 60 or 2k 30 i would go with 1060 Uh, absolutely sheds light oh, on the or, you know what give us that the option to uh do 60 and 30 fps in performance mode i would take like a lower resolution uh 1080p is still good though to be honest uh, i would take that like the video if you agree with the options thing i think with the options is fine right like we can have 4k 30 and, and 1080 60 I, I, yeah i'm cool with that uh but i guess in this case it would be 2k 60 but, but the game is still a year away maybe even two years away, guys 
You, you never know, man. These seconds can delay to 2026 as well. You never know, man. The challenges Rockstar faces in balancing visual fidelity with performance. Achieving a higher frame rate, like a stable 60 FPS, would likely require significant sacrifices in terms of graphical quality and the advanced technologies yeah. they're implementing. The game's yeah, yeah. dense, highly detailed environment, filled with complex lighting effects, realistic reflections, and other cutting-edge visual features, demands a lot of processing power. Reducing these elements to boost the frame rate could undermine the immersive experience Rockstar is aiming for. I'm sure they already had a lot of doubts about what to keep and what to remove while working on GTA 5. Wait there are comparisons it? between the beta and final version of the game, showing that yeah. in some places the developers had to remove vegetation, including various trees and grass, probably due to hardware limitations. Of course, times have changed, and today's hardware can handle a lot more. But surprisingly, Rockstar did not update GTA 5's graphics over all these years. Perhaps they wanted the gap between this and the next installment to be as large as possible, but they didn't predict one thing. Modders immediately started improving the game, and that's how we got mods like Lively World Expansion. It focuses on making the game's world more alive. And, and I know like some people would be like, well, the modders, the modders gonna fix the game. The modders gonna make it uh, 60 FPS. I guess like the, the game is not coming out on PC, first of all, at least day one. It's probably gonna come out like a year later, maybe two years later. And by the time it comes out, yeah, like on the on the PC, it's gonna be 60 FPS. Uh, it might even be 200 FPS, depending on what rig you got, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, for the consoles, man, if it's 30 FPS, it's gonna stay 30 FPS, man. And, and we're also learning about PS5 Pro, and according to Digital Foundry, if the game, uh, it's not like confirmed, confirmed, right? It's still like their speculation, their analysis. Uh, and, and they know a thing or two, right? So everybody's like running with this news, but I gotta let you know straight away, do not take this as confirmation, okay? It's not gospel or anything like that. But they have been saying that if the game runs at 30 FPS, on normal PS5, it's very likely that the game is not going to be able to run at 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro. Yeah, yeah, apparently. Live by placing various props and vegetation across the whole map, and it seamlessly integrates with single player as well as both the client and server sides of the 5M platform. Check it out. The link will be in the description down below. But okay. getting back to the limitations I just talked about, I feel- Let's skip. I want to skip to this part. To the recent go. leaks check happening- this. Yeah, check this out. This one is uh, much better in such a short period of time. So don't expect to see random gameplay clips popping up all over the social media. They're really tightening things up to keep everything under wraps. And while we're on the topic of leaks, the GTA 6 trailer leaking just yeah. hours before its official release was a huge thing. And this incident insane, has yeah. caught the attention of both fans and industry experts. Apparently it was an inside job. That That's what they're saying. Because uh, yeah, holy crap, like who leaked their trailer, right? Who leaked their trailer? It was an inside job. And they caught him though, they caught him. Recently, Zach XBT dropped some more info about it. So it turns out that the guy responsible for this leak is known by the alias Skenkir. He managed to gain access to a YouTube admin panel by purchasing unauthorized access, which allowed Damn. him to view the unlisted trailer ahead of its scheduled release. The timeline of the incident is quite detailed. At 8.50 p.m. UTC on December 4th last year, says, uh, hey, I might need your help, some ideas, actually. I have the GTA 6 trailer, but I want to leak it. And put BTC as a watermark, but I don't know where I could post it everywhere. Holy crap. And then he's like, okay, bro, life is a movie because I just seen my beat. Uh, okay, we're not sure. Do, do we have his face reveal or anything? Probably not, right? Year. Skinkier first mentioned having access to the new- And is he put behind bars or, or not? That That's a part that we, we don't know, but he ended up getting caught like that. Uh, we know he's the guy that leaked it. New GTA trailer, and shared a screenshot of the YouTube admin panel on Telegram. And then, eight minutes later, he shared he a screenshot it, from yeah. the trailer revealing the release date. One hour later, he leaked the entire trailer on X. And finally, at 11.10pm, Rockstar Games verified the leak. This situation is particularly intriguing because Skinkier has a notorious background. Since uh -oh. April 2023, he has been involved in over 40 high-profile sim swap cases, targeting individuals such as Vitalik Buterin, Steve Aoki, Peter Schiff, Elio Trades, and BitBoy, among others. I feel like this incident should serve as a critical lesson for Rockstar Games. For the release of their second trailer, they might need to reconsider their strategy and avoid the risk of another leak by not okay. uploading the trailer to YouTube until the exact moment of its intended release. I'm not sure what was the point of doing the premiere of the 
first trailer. Perhaps it is a strategy to maintain hype, but this approach has proven to be risky. It also really puts a spotlight on some major issues with YouTube's security measures, because it's clear that they need to seriously step up its game when it comes to protect- I I'm still not 100% sure if that was like an actual YouTube employee or somebody like you were saying, like hacked into the servers. I guess it was somebody else that hacked into the servers. But where is GTA 6 trailer 2? I want GTA 6 trailer 2. I want GTA 6 trailer 2. Like the video if you want to see the trailer 2. And right now the rumor is that it's going to be happening by the end of this year. Yeah. And if it doesn't happen by the end of this year, then guess what? The game is probably getting delayed to 2026. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right? Like, where is this trailer 2? We want trailer 2. We want trailer 2, man. Rockstar dropped the trailer 2, dog. Come on, man. And this time, don't do a premiere. Or do a premiere, but, like, don't uh, set the premiere, like, a week in advance. Because if you do that, somebody else going to leak it. Yeah, a YouTube employee going to leak it. Because the YouTube employees, that like, nobody cares. Everybody's like, yo, ah, oh, 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 that's a trailer. That's a GTA 6 trailer. Let me go ahead and uh, show it to the entire world, right? In, in a way, they're trying to bless us all, right? By leaking the trailer, by showing us early. I think in their mind, they're like, hey, I want to bless everybody up, right? So, Rockstar... I want you to bless us all up, okay? You, I want you to bless us all up. Just drop it right now, bro. How about that? Like the video figure, guys. ...unlisted content from unauthorized access. According to ViewStats, Rockstar Games has reportedly made around $1 million from the upcoming GTA trailer on YouTube. Okay. So if you're wondering, how did they make this cash? It's pretty simple. It all comes down to YouTube Premium. Even without ads, Rockstar still earns money from premium users who pay a subscription so can our brother get two pennies or something like that? Bruh. Like damn, a million dollar like that? God damn. Can we get like two two pennies or something? Fee for an ad-free experience. This revenue is based on watch time, which means every second that premium users spent glued to that trailer translated directly into earnings for Rockstar. Yeah. Alright boys, check out this video on the screen because in this video we covered like a lot of the gameplay leaks that are going around about GTA 6. We also talked about GTA 6 online as well and a bunch of other stuff. Check out this video on the screen and remember to not leak the GTS 6 trailer or else you're gonna also get caught, alright? Check this video out and I'll see you right there.